This segment brought to you by Kansas Farm Bureau, the voice of agriculture. To join today or for more information, go to kfb.org or find us on Facebook and Twitter. One of my guilty pleasures is Outlander, the series on stars. And one of my um, jump up and down moments was when Claire came back to the future. She left um, uh, 18th century Scotland. She came back to Boston in the 20th century and she looks at the newspaper on her table and she sees that a woman has been appointed to be the U.S. Treasurer, first woman ever. And that woman was Georgia Niece Clark Gray. And she was a Kansan. And what an amazing woman she was. And when I saw that, I was just jumping up and down. And in the series, Claire sees this photo and this headline and decides that she is going to medical school. And that's what it's all about. If this woman can achieve greatness, so can I. So let's take a look at one of the most colorful and inspiring women to ever call Kansas home. She was, according to her Richland, Kansas neighbors, quite a girl. When President Harry Truman appointed Georgia Niece Clark to be the first female to head the U.S. Treasury Department, it made headlines from Rochester to Tallahassee, from San Francisco to Sheboygan, and nearly every paper in Kansas boasted of her accomplishment. The vivacious 49-year-old brunette, as the papers reported, was a former actress and a divorcee, both of which carried at least a hint of scandal in post-World War II America. She was, however, a whole lot more. A graduate of Washburn University, Georgia was a farmer, banker, storekeeper, and grain elevator operator, a most extraordinary resume for the era. She took over the business from her father after her acting career flagged and proved herself a most capable businesswoman. She was unflappable. In one of the more colorful moments of her life, bank robbers awakened her at her home and forced her to the Richland Bank to open the safe and turn over the money. She complied. After all, they were well armed, but she made them wait while she put on her girdle. Georgia had served on the Democratic National Committee for years and was well known in Washington. She succeeded Treasurer William Julian, who was killed in a car crash after serving more than 15 years in that position. One of her first concerns upon taking office was the size of her signature. She got a very fine pen and practiced before getting it just right to fit on the nation's bills. When the bank in Richland received its first shipment of $501 bills from the U.S. Treasury, everyone in town was there to get one. It was a very proud moment. The Topeka Performing Arts Center and Washburn University have honored her in naming their theater facilities. Georgia Niece Clark Gray died in Topeka in 1995. Great sharing Wednesday mornings with you, and as always, you do your best to be colorful and inspiring. I'm Deb Goodrich, and I'll see you somewhere around Kansas. Closed captioning brought to you by Ag Promo Source. Together we grow. Learn more at agpromosource.com. I'm Bob Swartz, and I've devoted the last 43 years to helping Kansans reach their retirement goals and to protect the family farm. At Bob Swartz Financial, we believe everyone should be able to live the retirement they've always dreamed of. Our team of professionals can help you create an efficient strategy using a variety of investment vehicles to help you address your financial needs and your concerns. Bob Swartz Financial values, commitment, and transparency.